Hi everyone, today I've got the wonderful <laughs> Leela Bhatti. Hello. Leela Bhatti with me. Um, Leela Bhatti, could you please introduce yourself and tell us about what brought you to Avalon? My name's Leela Bhatti. I've been in Avalon maybe 23 to 25 years. Um, I came here as a, a late teenager about 18, 19 years of age and ended up staying on the tour with my little camper van for a few months and then on and off I came here, a course of festival which is in Pilton and then when I was 28 I came here and I started working for one of the shops for a little while and that's my story since, it's been my base since and my home. How do you experience and express your spiritual path in Avalon day to day? So I'm more of the Vedic tradition, um, the main path that I follow in my day to day living. So we play a lot of kirtan, we play at least once a week outside up the tour, usually a Sunday and we've been doing that for about two years now and for many years um, me and part of our Bhakti family have played kirtan here. So that's devotional singing, a lot to the goddess and a lot to the gods of that Vedic tradition. Um, I think really when you live in Avalon, it's part of the makeup of where we live really, that um, spiritual conversations, moments in temples. You know, you can walk down the I Street here and think, oh God, I just need a bit of sanctuary and there's so many temples to do that here in Glastonbury. Um, on and off I do a practice, there's been times in my life where I've been very steady in my practice of Japra meditation, calling out the names of the gods and goddesses. I'm very connected to the Radharani and Durga and Kali, Sarasvati, Pavati, Bhumi, Agni, so many of them which also is the elements of all traditions. So really, it, it matters in one level that I'm following a Vedic tradition with the goddess, but on another level, for me, it's the divine feminine aspects. They're all the same, to be honest. Yeah. In all traditions, the, it's the same. So yeah, so um, mm, that's how I do that. Um, when, when we say goddess, or divine feminine energy, what jumps to your mind? Like, how do you think of her? How do you oh, think? First of all, definitely Pachamama, the earth. Definitely. See, in the Vedas as well, it's like Radharani and Krishna, the masculine and feminine. They can't exist without each other. So, in that, it's like Radharani is the internal potency of Krishna. So she's the body, she's everything that is creation, everything that we touch. So similarly, like we are living on the goddess and everything we see is a divine feminine. And outside of that, in what we don't see in the anti-mass and everything beyond, which we have no comprehension of, for me is the divine masculine the god energy so um, that's the first thing I think of obviously I'm in a woman's body so you know the divine feminine is also me and us and um, that connection again of abundance and ripeness and and fortunateness great karma to be born in a woman's body I think to be more connected to the divine feminine especially at these times very fortunate yeah that's really beautiful mm. um, you mentioned Pachamama which is the earth mother yeah um, do you feel that living in Avalon um, do you feel her more strongly through the earth definitely definitely and really the connection I suppose to the goddess in the form of what there is especially in Glastonbury which is the goddess temple the goddess hall the goddess house the pagan um, temple in Glastonbury which is to the divine feminine and masculine goddess and god um, 
that has impacted me in my connection to the goddess and many other people so obviously the goddess needed her temples here so you know a f quite a few women and some men you know remembered again that this was the Isle of Avalon and the goddess and so you've got these beautiful sacred spaces and the Magdalene Chapel and everything and that's what really me actually volunteering when the goddess temple first opened and there wasn't really that many melissas or goddesses priestesses of Avalon and I needed a temple to be in basically from my tradition but that's what was there at the time so I volunteered in there and within a few months I really started to feel this different energy of the goddess in that vibration of what you know that sacred way how it's been built you know the goddess temple and everything that's been built has been built in a certain um, sacred way which ultimately the goddess has come through um, people to create it we haven't created it she's created it from with us doing the physical work so in that I wasn't part of the whole priestess of Avalon but she got me in there to take care of it and in that gave me the blessing of connecting me into the energy of the goddess of this land because I'd all I'd ever done was travel away from this land and so in that it's a big part of why I ended up staying here in Avalon maybe not in that traditional way of of um, the Avalon priestessing but in my own way um, and then I did two years with a group of women small group of women where we went out onto the land and did all the directions and spent the weekends together tuning into what um, Bridey and Arta and Rhiannon, Domnu and Kerr, Bamva, Keridwin, Danu, what they represented as to us in the mystery of who they were. And and that was also a very deep journey. Yeah. So Avalon Glastonbury is important. It is where the goddess resides on this in these lands of Britannia and in other places, but you know she's got a a sharp edged sword our goddess of Avalon she can come in and cut you up straight away <laughs> and spit you out or you know or so many people have had that she's you know she's not to be messed with and of course the people of Glastonbury really shine in that and they're not to be messed with either we're a power powerful town we're a powerful community yeah, but power with love, it's always uh, like Kali, you have to rip away the old to let the new shine. Through. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. That was so beautiful, thank you so much You're for your welcome. Time. And on behalf of everyone who's oh. going to watch, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you for sharing with us. You're welcome, thanks. <laughs>